All right, everybody. So I want to, I'm not going to play the video. I'm going to end it here where it's at. But this YouTuber is an American Chinese man, has a girlfriend and they're in Cebu. Now I've, his channel came through my recommends and I happened to check out one of his videos and uh, I've watched a few now. Now he truly is, he's Chinese origin, but he's American, USA. Now, a lot of his videos he does show young women and he's constantly stating, this video is not about these women, don't come at me about it, you know, and uh, when you got to start saying that, you got to wonder. Now, in this video, the reason I wanted to do this response is that he's bringing a Filipina friend, not his girlfriend, his girlfriend's there, but they have a friend, a Filipina woman, they're in the picture. And he's talking about foreigner pricing. Many foreigners complain that, you know, the minute I go there to buy something that they raise the price. And they will then in turn have their Filipino girlfriends go buy all the produce and the, the meats so they get the Filipino price. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. But as far as you being a foreigner, you should recognize if you can give a little bit more money and help them, by all means, it's still cheaper than if you were to buy the same quantity and product back in your home country. You know you're going to pay a lot more. Anyways, one of the things that I long, that has long bothered me is the mentality that you got to bargain, 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 bargain. And I've done a video about this with another foreigner. The what the way you do that is you you become familiar to that vendor. You don't just go to them for the first time and start saying, I want 20% off. You know, it's it's 80 pesos. No, I'll pay you 40. I'll pay you 30 pesos. No, 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 no. 80 pesos per kilo, right? Now, in this video, he gets his girlfriend's friend, a Filipina girl, to go and barter. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm low up watching the girl and her expression. And the, Fili the vendor, the Filipina vendor, they're looking at her like, huh? Because they don't do it like that. Y your, your bargaining is done with someone you've established a... Uh, a relationship you've been there three four times you continue to go there there was a another foreigner vlogger uh, over stay road I think that's the channel name I, I'm not entirely sure he got it right in that he kept going to the same vendor buying this his fruits and vegetables and he was starting to get a deal you see that's that that is the logical way in looking at, I want to start getting a, a good price. You don't just go to some random seller and expect them to just drop the price one time for you, especially because you might have white skin. You know, you come across really rude, arrogant, and really American. <laughs> and you get people, as you walk away, commenting about you. No, be respectful. Go to the vendor. If you see a place you like their produce, buy the price they ask. Go again the next day. Buy the price they ask. After a week, you might find they may offer you a little bit better deal. Within a month, your long-term staying there. After a month, you start getting the local prices. Okay, you're showing, you're showing to them, hey, I'm, I'm here for the long term. You know, and you will get a better deal. But just right off the... So this one, this Chinese-American guy is getting his Ch Filipino girlfriend's friend...
to go and barter and she's probably never been to this vendor and her and the vendor are looking kind of confused and I just had to stop it because you know uh, this is typical vlogging post where a foreigner is showing how to barter bargain for a cheaper price uh, and they they get it wrong they do get it wrong um, yeah sometimes they do get a cheap deal but uh, many times it's the vendors just confused and baffled and just like please just here give me your 30 pesos and and leave you're not leaving a good impression of yourself okay thank you